Once upon a time, many moons ago, there were five beautiful Intoner sisters. Four of the Intoners owned a personal servant called a Disciple. But one of them had no Disciple at all. One, please. I don't want to do this. I'm scared. Ready your sword. If you're like this already, you'll never be able to kill Zero. But I don't want to fight you, One. If you're not coming for me, then I'm coming for you. <laughs> one! If you're weak enough to die here, you'll never be able to kill Zero. Fight like your life depends on it! You haven't forgotten your mission, have you? If Zero manages to defeat me in battle, you have to kill him. I just need practice. Why am I fighting you? Taking on ordinary soldiers won't prepare you for Zero. She's a monster. And only an Intoner with the same sorts of powers can ready you for that. But... Focus! If Zero were here, she would have chopped your head off just now. You're improving. I hope so. I've been training for three months now. Do you think I'm strong enough to help you now? Huh. It's already been three months, has it? Three months since I gave birth to you. The Intoners are a cursed existence. I realized this back when the nation was still wallowing in chaos. Before we stepped up to save the world, Every Intoner needs a Disciple by her side. They boost the power of the Intoner's song, and also quell the desires that stir within them. Desires for sex, for honor, for cruelty, for romance. We all lust after different things. But what exactly did I desire? I couldn't be sure. It's hard to put into words. But I guess I felt... lonely. The solitude of fighting alone exhausted me. And so... Who are you? You... are me. I'm... you? Now come. We're the same. You and I are... the same? Yes. We are one. Intruders! Get up! Breaking into the cathedral? It's blasphemy! Hang in there! You're gonna be okay! A disciple is a tool for battle, but it didn't feel right using someone else as a weapon. So instead, I created a copy of myself. And since it was a copy, no matter what happened to it, it would always forgive me. Or I would forgive myself, I suppose. I used the cathedral's magical energy to infuse my copy with disciple-like powers. More than enough to take on the lords of these lands. Thus, I gained a partner I could rely on, and a way to forgive myself for what I had to do. Must be protected! She's not alone. We gotta get out. still beats dying. What would you like me to call you? Whatever you like. Well, 
You made me, so how about Mother? Forget it. That makes me sound old. But you said whatever I... Sister. I'm your sister. Or just one. Sister. One. So, sister, what am I supposed to do? Hmm. Just stay close for now. I can't have you running all over the place. All right. I'll stay right inside. <laughs> What's wrong, woman. sister? Did I misunderstand? No, it's fine. That's just what I need. So, what exactly is it you need me to do for you, sister? First, we defeat the cruel lords who rule these lands. And once we've defeated them? Then the people suffering under their reign will be saved. And once they're saved? Then we'll find a reason to live. So once we defeat these and save everyone, then what? Yes. Do we get Kill to the once. Get the No, Kill nothing like that. There's a task I need to finish. What task is that, sister? I have to kill Zeus. Who's Zeus? You'll find out soon, whether you want to or not. Just stay close to me, all right? Be my shadow. All right, boy. I'm happy to be your shadow. Let's see if you still feel that way in the end. Well then, one, we're going to be killing a lot of people now, aren't we? Yes. Hmm. Is that a problem? No. As long as you're with me, it's fine. As long as you're with me. If murder is a sin, what about killing to save the life of someone else? The lords of each nation use their almost limitless power to brutally exploit their subjects. To free the people from these oppressive regimes, we, the Intoners, have been eliminating their forces in each land. Are we done killing that? No. These men are all evil, right? Yes. Their lords have inflicted great cruelty on their own people. So if we're killing them, does that make us good? We don't get to answer that question. The people of these lands have suffered under their lords for a very long time. Did they kill their own subjects? I assume so. But I also believe many have faced fates far worse than death. Worse than death? What could possibly be worse than death? Sooner or later, you may see for yourself. Enemy is one male and one female! Enemy in sight. We're almost there. Let's take this out and wipe them all out. The further we go, the closer we'll be to a better world. What does a better world mean to you, sister? It means a world without conflict. This forest is our lord's domain! Be gone! A peaceful dare world? You to exactly. You're learning fast. But there's still something I don't quite understand. What's that? We must be fight in order to make a peaceful world. All forces in retreat! If you've a better idea, I'm all ears. I'm not a god here. I don't have all the answers. Does peace mean that we stop talking to each other and simply turn to the sea? <laughs> I'm sorry, Juan. I didn't... I didn't mean to defy you. I apologize. It's fine. You're not wrong, after all. My ideal world is one big contradiction. But I intend to balance the books in it. Balance the books? If it brings peace, then I don't care what kind of sacrifice I must have. 
No. Never mind. They keep coming. It does feel like there's no end to them. Fight. We have anyone to fight. We have my sisters. Sisters? Yes. Allies. We share a common enemy in Zero. Since they're losing morale. Yeah, well, can you Will have to fight alongside them as well? No. I can't tell anyone about you. You're keeping me a secret from our sisters? Hold yes. Your Protect all the, the way to the end. Yes, You're my failsafe after all. Every game needs at least one ace in the hole. Please! Please! So, I don't want to die! Yeah. Person, I'm not fools! To to. Get back here! No. There's one other. Not exactly a person, per se. Keep our Lord's force safe! Leave She's the big mouth waiting just up ahead. She can be a bit of a pain, so get ready. <laughs> Sorry. And who's that? Are you two people now? Back here, let's go in all. Some things cropped up, all right? Let's go. Things crop up? Hey, hey, wait a second. Wait just a... Oh, you are something else, you know that? Sister? Hmm? Remember what you told me earlier today? About how intoners are charged up sexually? Is that true? Yes. Is it true for you? Yes. So do you need me to? No. Why not? Why not? Because s aren't allowed to We need permission just to s it's not happening, okay? You'd have to be some kind of crazed maniac to do that. But then, how will you satisfy your needs? I'm creative. I'll figure something out. You're creative? Just go to bed. First, you abandon me to take care of some business. Then you make me come all the way back to you. And now you're gonna become a pair of sisters? I'm the only sister. Huh? He's male. Oh. Where are we off to next, sister? I'm going to the Land of Sands with Gabriella. You're going to the Cathedral City. B but I want to stay with you. No. You need to go cool off a bit. Very well. After rendezvousing with Gabriella, I headed out for the monster-infested desert. That I did. And we did not consider you needed more power to defeat these Watch lords. Out. It's gonna pay for that I did. Right, step so, forward. Forward. May I have another? That I did. This is some kind of I'm just saying. Just be quiet and fight. You're distracting me. Uh oh, someone's making her angry face again. That'll give you wrinkles, you know. I don't care. This is how I always look. That's not true. When you smile, it's much more... Inside, no, please, inside. Check your escape room. What's my smile like? Oh, 
boring. You know, I remember when you used to laugh and stuff. I knew nothing back then. I knew something, though. Now that you're still like that somewhere deep down. Maybe all you sisters really do need men around, hmm? Think whatever you like. You pretend to be all grown up and mature, but you haven't changed since childhood. We all need some kind of mental support, you know? Even in tone. Heck, you probably needed more than the rest of us. I suppose there's some truth to that. Perhaps we're weaker than we'd like to admit. Oh, come on! You're supposed to get all mad and yell at stuff. I don't like this pensive thing. Quit messing with my head. Still, now you have a brother and a dragon. That's quite the little partnership. Yes, although I wouldn't call you a partner. Well, you no, know. I, I mean, you're your friend. Your friend? Oh, you think I want to hear that? And if I really was looking for a partner, I'd prefer to stick to my own species. That's not what I meant. So you really want to kill Zero that bad? Of course. Why else do you think I'd be doing all this field field training, right? <laughs> How stupid and ineffective! Not to mention totally What? Be quiet. Here. No. Listen up for a change. I happen to have a piece of info you'd be very interested in. Oh? Yes. See, there's a word called the Forest of Trials over in the land of forests. I hear it's the perfect little spot to build up your body and your soul. Sounds like a hoax. Could be. Still, I suppose I am a bit curious. All right, let's pay a visit to this Forest of Trials. Lacking a disciple to call her own, the intoner used one of her own ribs to fashion herself a brother. The two of them made up for what each other lacked, and they grew up together within the cathedral. And beneath the light of the moon, the dragon quietly watched over them. I wonder if even we truly know what it is we desire. There's some kind of power preventing me from entering the forest. How clever. So be it. You wait here, Gabriella. What? Wait! You're going in there by yourselves? There's no need to worry, Gabriella. I can keep my sister safe. Oh, I'm not worried, pal. Especially not about you. We'll try to go as far in as we can. <sighs> Just be careful. This is it? The Forest of Trials? It looks normal enough to me. Zero! How lucky! Meeting Zero so soon, I mean. Yes. Too lucky, in fact. Huh? Look closer. This is a fake. Why is there a fake Zero here? I don't know. Perhaps there's some magic here that reads our minds and brings our thoughts into being. One thing's for sure. If we can't beat the fake, we'll never defeat the real thing. It seems this really is a forest of trials. There's too many of them. It's like a big festival of Zeros. Yeah. 
see the point of this. I'm not even scared of them anymore. Good. I'm glad you're no longer scared of Sarah. Let's get moving. Was that all just a dream? If not for one, I wouldn't have survived the Forest of Trials. Yeah, I know. That's the fourth time you told me. I sure wasn't expecting all those zeros in one place. Let me guess. You were ready to piss yourself at first, but watching your sister slice through them like butter gave you the courage to nut up and fight. Sound about right? Wow, Gabriella. How did you know all of that? Because you've told me four times! Can't you yell at him or hit him or something? He won't shut up. I think it's time for you to get some rest. Yes, I suppose I am a little tired. So I assume the Forest of Trials was an illusion conjured up by some sorcerer or other? Yes. But you didn't see a sorcerer, did you? No. Probably cursed to death by his own creation or the like. Hmm. And it whipped up an entire army of zeros for you, huh? You must really hate that girl, don't you? They were weak. All of them. Just a bunch of flimsy knockoffs. The real Zero was nothing like that at all. She's strong. Much stronger than I could ever hope to... Oh, come on! How about giving you and that brother of yours some credit for a change? Honestly, I thought you were going to bite the big one back in that forest. I feared much the same outcome, but I managed to survive. And it was because of him. Looks like someone's not so alone anymore. I just hope we can have more little moments like today. Meaning what? Meaning, if my brother and I work harder, that will take some of the burden away from you, Gabriella. Burden? You burdening me? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. But you... You think we dragons get all worked up because of what some girl asks us to do? I'll decide whether it's a burden or not. Got it? And I'll also decide how long I hang around with you guys. I'm the boss of my own fate. Always have been, always will be. I don't need some human holding anything back on my account. Thanks, Gabriella. Shut your pie hole. You really must be tired if you're spouting crap like that. Get some sleep already. After the battle, the exhausted siblings fell fast asleep. Feeling their weight upon her, the dragon reflected. This human is clever. She'll soon uncover the mistake this world made. Though the dragon considered the pair to be a right royal pain, she didn't attempt to disturb their slumber. She let them remain just as they were all throughout the long, long night.